Hello and welcome to the Real Gary Tussie Podcast, where we talk about anything and everything that could ever amount to anything or everything to anybody and everybody who ever intends to amount to something. We'll be right back. Welcome to this edition of Real Gary Tussie. You're listening to the Real Gary Tussie podcast. You can reach out to us at realgarytussie.com. It's our website that is up and walking. Well, by the time you hear this podcast, it probably is up and running, actually. But you can also email us at realgarytussie at gmail.com. We love hearing from you. Always thankful and grateful for those and to those who help make us what we are and what we can contribute back to society and our businesses. And uh, we do own uh, Tussie Homes Incorporated. We build new homes and we sell them. And we also own a, a excavation side. This is a separate company and it's its own incorporation. And that is Tussie Excavation, of the which we exclusively use Kubota equipment that we purchase purchased in lexington kentucky at central equipment and our sales agent was chad freeman and chad still if we need help with anything or need information or service or whatever he's the guy we contact and he always connects us but Kubota equipment it's a way to go before you buy any won't you let us do some of your work tussie excavations is is available with a, a a mini excavator a beautiful mini excavator and a wonderful uh skid steer that can get we 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 excavate our entire uh, lots when we're building new homes dig out the entire foundation or even the basements whatever with these two pieces of, qu- of equipment and uh, believe you me it doesn't take long at all to do it so you can see more of that on our um on our facebook and uh there's a facebook account that's uh, tussie construction facebook tussie construction go there and you can see a lot of what we do and we and some of the live feed that i put i think last week you probably saw me we have live we have facebook live for the podcast uh, friends who are what are listening to the podcast we do facebook live at the same time we're producing these and through the day i'll do some facebook live on whatever i'm applying myself to all day and last week i showed you some demo we were doing and hauling out two mobile homes in dumpsters when we were done tearing down with those two pieces of equipment here at the real gary tussie podcast we encourage people to live and let live to be free and to set other people's free and to to apply a high energy pursuit toward happiness in your life you cannot kiss a girl leaning away from you you cannot climb a fence leaning towards you you cannot roller skate in a cow pasture but you can be happy if you have a mind to and our founding fathers received that by divine providence by an inner image by a, 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 a plan and design it was bigger than them to realize this is what a true nation under god needs to be and must be established on so we're preserving that we're causing awareness to that and um encouraging you to understand how powerful you are that this cover this this you this united states of america that you live in greatest country on the planet is established by we the people and we the people is a is is a useless hollow uh phrase if you're not mindful of me the person because the greatness of we the people begins with the greatness of you the person you are endowed with inalienable qualities for freedom and happiness and contribution to society that only your creator can endow you with and if you forget that then you're going to come up with ridiculous claims like you know uh well we won't even get there you forget who made this this is a people planet and the creator of this people planet is also the creator of your very heart mind and soul that's made you an individual that the founding fathers of this nation realized that and empowered you for that all government is of the people for the people and by the people we the people so let's be responsible as me the person right you know there are a few things we we mentioned 
continually on this podcast that are uh, that require no investment of money but it does require investment of your time things that require no experience for you to bring to your interaction including your workplace including your uh contribution with social in social settings that you must bring for you to have and be the best and to be contagious in that way one is we talk about them all the time attitude contribution punctuality the ability to listen personal hygiene and appearance and then i add another one to it this morning uh i believe it was this morning i added this you you, we need to be slow to commit so many people are like because they don't realize the importance of once you've made a commitment you you stick with it and you follow through that's why so many commitments are made in ceremony such as a wedding such as confirmation to a public office such as um receiving of diplomas these are very ceremonial because they are commitments they are achievements and and milestones in life that once you've committed to these you're in you're committed so we're, we t- we'll talk about those on another podcast but uh um today we're talking about ridiculous government government regulations that are almost too bizarre to believe so i i, I encourage you you can get information like this on actually what can't you get on a Google search, right? And so this is where I got this. And on the last podcast, we mentioned these. And this we're going to do that again today. This one I thought was really, really interesting. And that is uh, teeth brushing regulations. So now the, the, the government is going to man is mandating. Well, let me read this to you and you'll see what I'm talking about. In the state of Massachusetts, all, all children in daycare centers are mandated by state law to brush their teeth after lunch. In fact, the state even provides the fluoride toothpaste for the children. So, interesting. So, otherwise, may not be getting any toothbrushing going on if it weren't for the government making that happen. And uh, you understand, whenever the government, quote, government is providing anything, that's not some big old uh, wizard behind a screen, behind a pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. That's you and me. That's you and me paying for this, that, and the other because it, this country is we the people, unlike any other nation on the planet. Listen to this one. I'm talking about ridiculous regulations that you may or may not be aware of. Most ridiculous regulations let's say it like this most regulations period we the people are not aware of and here's one this is interesting let's say you went to washington dc let's say you took a trip to washington dc just to take in the sights you got excited about the washington monument you got excited about the lincoln memorial you got excited about the capitol rotunda you got excited about 1600 pennsylvania adam uh pennsylvania avenue and you just oh you're so pumped you're so excited and you go back home you're telling all your friends about it and uh they're so excited because they're just gleaning from the excitement that you brought home from that tour of washington dc and your friends say hey next time you go to washington dc i want to go with you and i want you to show me all the i want you to show me the washington monument and i want you to show me the um uh, lincoln memorial and i want you to show me what you saw at the uh capitol rotunda i want you to show me the original founding documents of this country i want to go with you my friend because i love you and i know you and you're so pumped and excited about washington dc i want to go with you and you just i want you to share all this with me i want to i want to see it firsthand isn't that great? I mean, isn't that how it works? Wherever you go, whatever you do, you get excited about it. You get pumped about it. Then it becomes contagious and your friends want in on it and um, uh, just want want to rally around you and your excitement. Well, be careful about that if you take that type of enthusiasm to Washington, D.C., because amongst our 
ridiculous government regulations that you too can print off of uh, a google or bing search if you decide you're going to take some of your friends back and show them some of the awesomeness that you saw that our founding fathers had made sure is just memorialized and instituted there caution if you attempt i'm reading this this is a law if you attempt to give a tour of our nation's capital without a license you could be put in prison for 90 days i kid you not i read that one i just could not believe it you know what i think when it comes to regulations sorry for the stuttering there i never do that is who do they think they are? And how in the world have we, the people, let somebody begin to take... Mm. Anyway, here's one. Interesting. This one is untangling whales. Untangling a whale. A U.S. district court judge slapped a $500 fine on a Massachusetts fisherman. And then it gives his name. For untangling a giant whale from his nets and setting it free. We talk about setting free here on this on this podcast all the time. Now, I thought this was interesting. So, what was his crime? The whale was caught in his nets. I mean, who knows how It may not have even been that. Just maybe his tail. Or her tail was caught in the net. He set him free and let him go. Here's the crime he committed, all right? According to the court, this gentleman was supposed to call state authorities and wait for them to do it. So you do, you know, most likely, now I'm I'm walking an assumption here. Had he waited for the authorities, who knows it if, if he had to because it may have been a simple snag even if it were an elaborate snag it could have caused death to the whale then of course when you call the authorities don't think for a minute they do it for free you know these regulations they're not just in place so that they uh so that we give account good morning kathy special place in my heart for all the early risers that join us here regulations when they are put on us we don't know the majority of them, but you got to understand this. They're not um, uh, free. A very f- most all regulations, you got to pay a fee for them for people to keep a good eye on you, to make sure you don't grow wheat in your backyard, to make sure that if you get excited about the uh, architecture at Washington D.C. and you decide to take your friends up there and and show them what you learned and the ex- and the experience and and information that you gleaned you're going to be fined if you don't get a license to do that first these are regulations that are in place that are absolutely ridiculous can you believe the all right we're at the end of this podcast already and we hope you enjoyed it we want to encourage you to reach out to real gary tussie we're being real around here and we are real when it comes to living and letting live we are real when it comes to being free and setting others free and we are real in our high energy pursuit toward happiness you can be happy we want you to reach out to us real gary tussie.com is our is our website and real gary tussie at gmail.com we love hearing from you let's see if anybody weighed in today i keep this up all the time so you can email us real gary tussie at gmail.com and we will get back with you and you know what i apologize i forgot to give the number out for our friends to call us today i apologize we'll do that tomorrow for sure until then tussie out <laughs>